Mike Hughes here. I'm at Pure Diving in Grenada, and I'm here with Christine. Uh, you want to tell me a little bit about the diving there? Uh, sure, year round, really warm water, okay. lots of diversity. It's a volcanic island, small island. Short boat trips, 10, 15 minutes. Lots of wrecks, 14 wrecks, uh, 25 reefs. Two islands, Karakou and Grenada. We've got options. Okay, and um, so uh, we see all these, um, oh, I don't know, these sunken... Um, sculptures. Sculptures. Yeah. And uh, what's that signifying? Anything in particular, or the fact that you just wanted more to see? Um, yeah, uh, it, it was a, a dive port? instructor artist, Jason DeCarens Taylor. Oh, uh, okay. This is the first one he ever made. Uh huh. So when he was still coming up and like a student, this is where he was experimenting, and this is where he started. Oh, that makes sense. And then he flourished uh, elsewhere and then Mexico in the world. Stole him in Lanzarote and Nassau and everybody else. But everybody this is where, in the this world. This is where he started. Okay. Where he cool. met his wife, who was at the vet school and and was messing around with this. But his intention was for them to grow funky corals and stuff. So like to grow over time, like kids would grow over time. So come out and check out the funky corals, come back another yeah. five, 10 years, check out even more funky yeah. corals. Okay, and this is off of one of the big wrecks. Um, the, yes, the, that's on the Shakem. Okay. So that's one of our, it's in 100 feet of water and it's about 180 feet long. It's a big cargo boat, fully intact, some penetration, some big cargo holds a crane. It's a cool so, wreck. So it's for divers of every um, type. And yeah, shallowest is open water level, deepest is, is down to advanced. And then we have basic pictures of all the uh, different um, animals uh, underwater there. Oh, yeah, Quite a we, collection. We have, we're pretty far south in the Caribbean, so we have good um, diversity. So lots of different coral species, lots of rays, sharks, turtles. More soft than, soft than hard corals, or how does that work? No, we got both. Okay. We definitely have both. Okay. You, you want your shallow soft coral gardens, or your, your kind of like your shallow reef wall, hard coral, hard coral stuff, we got okay. that. And then when they're not underwater, I see a bunch of nutmegs and uh, yeah. cinnamon sticks and stuff. So oh, yeah. um, the spice aisle, right? That's and it us. still is. Oh yeah. Cool. Waterfalls, rivers, river tubing, hiking, cocoa plantations, rum factories, kind of you name it, you can do it. Okay. It's a very outdoorsy place, though. It's a nice, peaceful, quiet, safe, fabulous place to live. I've been there seven years. And and how long do people usually go there for? Is it like a weekend trip or what? You could do a weekend. Nice I mean, not week, a week. Week long. Normally a week. That's what I meant. A weekend would be a bit rushed. But I know. <laughs> we're only three hours from Miami, so it, it's not crazy. You could go for a weekend. Normally okay. a week. Um, a lot of our Brits go for two weeks. A lot of the English come for two weeks. Yeah, they get longer vacations, like six month vacations. <laughs> and Americans, they only get two days. <laughs> Well, they say they don't get the sunshine that you guys get in the States either. So Right, it depends on what state you're coming from. Yeah, totally. <laughs> All right, so if they want more information about um, Grenada, yep. they would go to? You could go to um, puregrenada.com. That's pure. for tourism. Okay, just put the word pure, and then Grenada, and yep. then .com. Or I'm at Ecodive, and we're always happy to help. So ecodivegrenada.com, and we'll see what we can do. Okay, thank you very much. Good.